Question 151. Dimensions of which of the following remains unaffected when skeletal muscle fibers are in maximally contracted state? Region between two Z lines, an isotropic band, isotropic band, H zone. So the question is asking which remains unaffected when the fibers are maximally contracted. Option number one, region between two Z lines. As we know, there is shortening of the length of sarcomere. This is the length of sarcomere, the distance between two Z lines. It definitely shortens when the muscle is maximally contracted. So this can't be answer. Option number two, an isotropic band, also known as A band. The length of A band remains unaffected when the muscle is contracting or has maximally contracted. So A band remains unaffected. This is the right answer. Option number three, isotropic band or I band. Length of I band also reduces due to overlapping on the A band. So this gets affected and can't be the answer. Option number four, H zone or Henson zone. This also narrows when the overlapping of actin and myosin filament increases. You can see it here. So this also cannot be our answer. The right answer here would be option number two an isotropic band. Question number 152. Red muscle fibers differ from white muscle fibers as former contains large quantities of oxygen binding pigment hemoglobin, latter has larger amount of sarcoplasmic reticulum than former, former are unbranched and multinucleated while latter are not, latter are responsible for aerobic respiration while former undergo anaerobic respiration. Big sentences in the option. Let's go over them one by one. Option one is mentioning oxygen binding pigment as hemoglobin. So we know the oxygen binding pigment in muscle fibers is myoglobin and it's only present in red muscle fibers. And it's absent in white muscle fibers. That's why white muscle fibers are lighter in color. Option two, latter has larger amount of sarcoplasmic reticulum. Red muscle fibers have less of them and white muscle fibers have more of sarcoplasmic reticulum. So the second option is correct because it's a right statement. White muscle fibers have more sarcoplasmic reticulum. Option number three, former are unbranched and multinucleated while latter are not. This is untrue. Both of them are unbranched and multinucleated. Option number four is in relation with the energy production and the type of respiration. The red muscle fibers carry out aerobic oxidation for energy production, whereas white muscle fibers carry out anaerobic oxidation. Option number four is saying that the latter are carrying out aerobic, which is incorrect. So the right answer here would be option number two, which gives the correct differentiation between red muscle fiber and white muscle fibers. Question number 153, locomotory structures in macrophages found in tissues are flagella, cilia, stereocilia, pseudopodia. So which are the locomotory structures present in our macrophages? In human body, there are two cells, that is leukocytes, or our WBCs and macrophages, these two cells show pseudopodial movements. And pseudopodial movements is due to the streaming of protoplasm. Because of this, the surface of cell forms feet, false feet or pseudopodia. And because of these pseudopodial movements, our leukocytes and macrophages travel to each and every part of body to engulf the attacking antigens or pathogens. So the locomotory structure of macrophages would be option number four, pseudopod. Let's look at the other options here. Flagella. Flagellar movement is evident in euglena and also evident in swimming of spermatozoa. Option number two, cilia. Ciliary movements are evident in fallopian tube for the passage of ova. And also in our trachea to remove dust particles that gets inhaled along with the atmospheric air. Stereocilia are present in inner cell. 
and they detect fluid movement. So the right answer here is option number 4, pseudopodia. Question 154. I I am primarily involved in locomotory actions and changes of body postures. I have striped muscle fibers when observed through the microscope and my activities are under the voluntary control of the nervous system. Who am I? Cardiac muscles, biceps, iris and visceral muscles. As per the data provided, the muscle fiber is striped and it's under voluntary control of our nervous system. And these two features are of skeletal muscle. Out of the given option students, skeletal muscles are present in biceps. Whereas cardiac muscles are not under voluntary control, iris is a smooth muscle and visceral muscles are also smooth muscle types. So the right answer here would be option number 2, biceps. Question 155. The organ system that provides an organized network of point-to-point -point connections for quick coordination through synapses is endocrine system, locomotory system, neural system, circulatory system. Students, point-to-point -point connections for quick coordination is possible because of signaling and this signaling is done by neurotransmitters these are chemicals that are released at synapses between neurons and these facilitate signaling. The neurotransmitter are a part of neural system. So the right answer here would be neural system. Whereas endocrine system requires hormones to provide chemical integration and circulatory system and locomotory systems. Locomotory system whereas helps in locomotion and, and circulatory system helps in transport of gases and nutrients. So the right answer here would be option number 3 neural system.